Warning, this video contains spoilers for the Owl House, all the seasons, basically everything, so if you haven't watched the show yet, go do that, it's a great show, so just, yeah, there's your spoiler winning. Anyways, let's go on to the video. <laughs> okay, okay, man, add this show to the list of shows that I'm so sad have ended, <laughs> but yeah. Hey guys, Spin Speed here, and today we're talking about The Owl House, and boy, what an amazing show that was. Like, it's just one of my favorite shows of all time. Wait, whoa, I'm actually talking about something new? Huh. Yeah, usually I'm talking about stuff that has, like, came out, like, a real long time ago, but I guess we're talking about something new, so yay! And just really good, like the qual- it's like one of the- has so much quality and it's just really amazing. Like, the main character, Luz, she is so much fun to watch, she grows, she's just- is always just the best character ha to hang around, and I just love her so much. I just think it's just so cool to have like a nerd, but also like a little peppy person be like the main character. And I know that's what a lot of shows are nowadays, but like still, it's always just fun to see. Uh, so basically the general premise is that Luz is pretty quirky and all that, and then her mom sends her to, uh, summer school, but she doesn't do that and is sent to the Boiling Isles, where she meets Ida and King, who are the best. Ida is hilarious, and King is just the best thing. So, yeah. Uh, they all live in this house, well, the Owl House, and who's, like, uh, like, controlled or also, um, protected by Hootie, who is this tube. He's interesting, I don't, he can be pretty annoying when he screams, but also he's just, he just, he's Hootie. Uh, but yeah, that's generally the plot. It's a fish out of water story, uh, a lot of cool things, uh, but yeah, uh, that's just really all I have to say for, like, the general plot. Uh, the show is funny, it's just very entertaining, it's a great show, like, I think it's hilarious how in the first episode, they go to take, uh, back King's Burger King crown, and, uh, the police god is, like, wants to go out with Ida, and I just think that's funny, so, uh, yeah. But something I also really like about the show is all the world building they do, about, like, the covens and wild magic, and how the Emperor's coven shows up, and it's like, you can't be a wild witch and all that. And I also think it's really just interesting and fun, and Ida's owl form is very interesting, and it just makes you, it's just a good mystery throughout the first season. Uh, Luz then goes to school, and, ha like, goes to, like, a kind of Harry Potter-like school, there it uh, she meets Willow and Gus, who are pretty fun characters. I think they're pretty entertaining, and yeah, they're just good side characters. Uh, but the best character from Hexide and all that is Amity. She starts out as a pretty, like, a bully character, but as the show goes on, she learns and grows and actually becomes a friend of Luz. And I just love her character arc so much. It's just so cool to just see someone that everyone hated to everyone loves. So, yeah, I think that's pretty great. And one of the greatest scenes is when Amity and Luz dance to her stop this giant monster thing, and the animation goes crazy. The animation is so good, and I just love how in some scenes they just bump up the budget, and it's just so cool, and I just love it so much. And it's just so good. And the music in that scene, too. Ah, oh, the music, when it gets good, it gets good. It's just so many jams and all that. I just, oh, I just love it so much. There are a lot of fun episodes, but, you know, not all of them are winners. Some of them are just boring and kind of bland, like one where they all switch bodies. That was, eh. I didn't really know what to think about it. At the end of the season, Ida and Ida's sister Lilith, who has been trying to uh, capture Ida, have an, a battle over losing. It's just, the animation goes so hard, and it's just so much fun, and it's just... Crazy to see Luz just <laughs> caught in the middle of it, and it's just fun but awesome, and it's just ah oh, so good. But while Luz goes to save Ida, we see Bellos, the main villain, and he is a great villain because he is terrifying. He's just so mysterious. He seems so powerful and all that, and it's just you just gotta know like what's his deal and stuff, you know. Something I also like is that at the end of the season, Ida and Lilith both lose their magic. And I just think that's, like, very interesting, you know? It's 
And it just shows all the potential of what the crazy, like, hijinks and where the characters are going to be in the next season. And it's just so much inter- it's just so much possibilities for storytelling. It's just really interesting. So, that was the first season, and it is good, but it isn't perfect, as I said. The, every, not every episode is a winner, but there are quite a lot of hits in there. And, yeah, it's just fun to see all these characters develop, see the world, the main villain, the mysteries that they start setting up. And, yeah, it's just a, just a blast to see. But now we're on to the second season, and, well... The first thing I have to say is that I love Lumity, the ship between Luz and Amity. Oh man, I just, it's so much fun just seeing uh, Amity having a crush on Luz. That's just so realistic and it's just fun to just see it all happen. And it's also, it was a really fun to see like Luz also have the same effect. And then finally them not waiting forever to get it them together they don't wait until the final episode they just do it and I just love that that's just amazing because like uh it's just so good to just you're introduced to something and then you get it you don't have to wait it's just very good but we also meet Hunter in this season and he's a cool character I don't really have too much of a, an opinion on him uh, he's just fine really I enjoy him I think he is like he also has an interesting character arc but and I kind of prefer Amity's to be honest but uh yeah, later on, uh, Luz does, like, gets, uh, like, creates a new portal door and gets to, like, talk to his, her mom and, like, this, like, uh, thing, I don't really know what she is, but, uh, his name, e her name is Eve, and she is, like, taking the place of Luz while she's on adventures and stuff, and, yeah, it just shows up, it just brings a lot of drama into it, and it just goes pretty crazy, because, like, you're just wondering, oh, man, what's Camila gonna think about all this, you know? It's, it's, it, I hate to say, I hate to repeat that it's very good over and over, but, yeah, it's, it's just exciting. <laughs> yeah, we also, in, like, a time travel shenanigans with Lilith and Luz, we find out that the reason why Bellos got, like, his powers of, like, magic and stuff is because of Luz and stuff, and it's just crazy to see her shocked reaction and just be like, oh no, how could I do this? What happened? No! It's just, like, yeah, that's, like, the things that the people are saying when they watch it, like, no! You know? <laughs> uh, man, it's just exciting. Like, this whole thing, just remembering back to the episodes, it just makes me excited. But yeah, a twist that we find out out is that throughout the entire like season, we're trying to find out who King's dad is, and then we find out that King is a Titan. So literally, the Boiling Isles is like a corpse of a Titan, and that's King's dad. And it's just very interesting because one day King is gonna become is like gonna become really tall, and he's also like the most powerful thing to ever exist and stuff, which is pretty interesting. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it really just has, just makes you just be like, yeah, it's just a shock. It's a crazy just shock, you know? But, a uh, thing that is, like, introduced close to, like, the end of the season is Hunter having a crush on Willow, and I think it's pretty entertaining. I don't think it's as good as Lumity. It, it just seems like they're just, you know, doing it again because, well, entertainment. And, yeah, I think it was fine. Uh, yeah, it's just... It was only just a couple blushes, but that's enough, really, so, yeah, I thought it was just perfectly just fine. But the season two finale was crazy. Like, seeing, like, Amity's dad, like, kind of, like, be like become a good character, really, and just oppose, like, just learn to just be a good dad, and it's just really cool, and, like, seeing just Amity's, like, Standing up to her mom and stuff is just very, yeah, I just think it's a great thing. And also, just the Day of Unity is an amazing evil plan. Like, Bellows sucking all the magic away from everybody. It's just very, it's a good plan. But also something that is really cool is when Bellos is, like, turns into this goo monster. And it's just very, like, creepy, but also just looks so cool. But it's even funnier when... King lets out the Collector, and then he splats him. So, yeah, speaking of the Collector, the Collector is the reason Bellows has his magic and all that. And I also just love how the Collector is just a kid, and I just 
love it. He just wants to play games. He doesn't know what he's doing is wrong. It's just really just... I just love that he's like a kid and stuff. But before I head into season 3 and like the final episodes... Season 3 was sadly cancelled and... Well, uh, technically, it wasn't cancelled. It just, you know, had uh, free specials. And, yeah, like, I just... It would have been so nice to have a full season. And why was this? Well, I thought it was because of Lumity, which... And, like, so Disney couldn't show them in every country, so that was probably a no-go. Or because, apparently, a lot of moms were calling in saying how this is terrible, my children should not be able to see this, which is just stupid. Like, come on. Do come on, really? But also the reason that came out was because a lot of because like of people that look over the show and be like, oh, this is on the Disney brand. One person was like, no, this ain't no, this is no longer Disney brand. This is bad. And then that's why they canceled it. I think that's really stupid if that's the actual real reason. That's good. That would be so frustrating. And I hate how that is could potentially be the real reason. And it's just so just stupid, if you ask me. But, yeah, finally on to season 3. Seeing everyone in the human realm is a lot of fun. Like, the montage is entertaining. I kind of like how they go into, like, an amphibia kind of way. Like, how that third season was. But th it's not, like, a blatant copy. They do a, do a whole new direction with it. And it's just really... Yeah, it's, it's a new direction, and it's just entertaining to see. And I also just like how Camila, we sh see how she is actually a good mom. Like, she's not just a bad person. She wants the best for her child. She wants, like, to, like, have her be happy and live a normal and good life. And it also kind of seems like the principal manipulated her, it kind of seems like. Maybe? I don't know. But, yeah, uh, that's just what I got from the episode. And, yeah. But then Bello shows up, and he's even more scarier. Like, how he possesses people and stuff, and it's just so strange. And I really like how uh, Possessed Hunter looks. It's just really, uh, just really spooky and just very interesting. But when Flapjack died, that was like, when he got, like, injured, I was like, I was so shocked. Like, it was just so sad. And then him sacrificing himself for Hunter, it was just so sweet. And God, I miss that bird so much. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, they all then head back to the Boiling Isles, and it's in shambles. And it's really interesting, like, the whole, like, dystopian, pl in, like, area that it's all in, and, like, uh, people hiding in the school. And it's just, you know, very interesting and all that. And it is entertaining, I guess, but, eh, I thought it was fine, just, you know, I would really just like to get to the main plot. And something that's been happening in the main plot is Luz's character arc, where she's feeling bad for what all of the bad things Bellos has done, and she's blaming herself. And I just love seeing her just come to, like, realize, like, all her, uh, like, just realize that she is, like, a good person and not just a bad person. And she can be in the Boiling Isles, and she can be, like, herself and all that. And it's just so, just... There, I just love her character arc so much. And so, someone else that we were introduced to was String Bean. Oh my god, I love String Bean so much. Uh, so cute. I that snake is just so cute, and I just love how how the snake can like shape shift and stuff. So it's like never just one thing. Kind of just like how Luz is like creativity and all that. And I just think that's just interesting, you know. But yeah, then we see Bellos manipulating the collector, and he's just the master of manipulation, isn't he? But yeah, he fully gets the collector to just start just going on a rampage and stuff. But you know, Luz then comes to the collector, and then they just talk about it. And I just also, and well, the collector is redeemed because you know he's not a bad. He's just a child. He doesn't know what he's doing is wrong. And yeah, I really do enjoy his like redemption and like uh. Ida, Luz, and King, like, their reunion was sweet, but, uh, like, them, like, coming together and, like, them trying to, like, teach the Collector, like, good things and, like, let them, like, be, like, entertain him and stuff, and it's just very fun, but then Bellos like, possesses the Titan and stuff by going into the Titan's heart, and it's just crazy, and then, like, with, like, he sends out this, like, uh, mold kind of stuff that's like possessing everyone and I think kills people because then Luz dies which is insane like oh man it's just so crazy to see 
her just sacrifice himself, herself for Collector and then Collector not even knowing that she's dead and stuff. And it's just so crazy. And then, like, in the, like, magic area, like, we see King's dad. And I love how he has, like, a dad bod and stuff. And I love his design. Like, it's just really funny and all that. And he's just amazing to see. But then, uh, the Titan gives loses gives lose his power and then lose powers up and it's just it looks so cool i just love the design and it's just so cool to see her like use all this magic and stuff but something i also really loved is when they called back to the first episode and just all that and the animation also looked so good and it was just so much fun seeing king uh king and ida like go all crazy when they didn't know uh lose was like alive and stuff and yeah, so that was pretty crazy and all that. And it was just fun to see them all fight against Bellos. And then Bellos' death was like crazy. Like it was funny also to see them all step on him. But like the scene right before that was so just insane and cool. And just the, him trying to manipulate Luz and it's just not working. And it's just, it's just so satisfying. <laughs> So yeah, that's the end of the adventure, and then we cut to years later, and we see how Luz and Camilla, they can still go to the Owl House thanks to the uh, power of the Collector, and seeing all their future designs, and I really like them all. I like how Ida has, like, a hook. King basically looks the same, but, like, with a new uh, necklace, I guess. Uh, I just really like everyone's new designs. I think they all just work really well. Uh... Amity's one, I kind of, I think it looked good. I just was a little surprised to see more brown than purple, you know? But, uh, yeah, I thought it was really good. Uh, I don't really understand why Luz's, it kind of looks like Luz is wearing, like, mascara or something under her eyes. But, yeah, other than that, I loved everyone's designs. I thought they were just all very entertaining and all that. Not entertaining, just they just looked good, and it was nice to see what all the characters are doing now. And it also seems like Hunter and Willow are together, I think. I don't know, they didn't really address that, but it looked like that, so yeah. But yeah, that's basically everything in Season 3, and God, oh, I loved it so much. Season 3 was so good, and oh man, I just, my only problem with it is that I wish there was more, you know? I just really wish we got to see more of the human world, and all that, and it's just... I just really loved it, you know, I just, if only it wasn't, like, had to be down to a couple specials and all that, and we could just have the full season free and the whole thing, but, yeah, but what about the ending? Well, to me, the ending was perfect, it was just so cool to see everyone where they are now and all that, and it was just a perfect ending, if you ask me. Now, I know, um, yeah, I... Perfect, I know, is different for many people, but to me, The Owl House is an almost perfect show. It was really, really hard for me to come up with things that, like, to complain about, because I just think the show is just too good, so, yeah. So, yeah, I think you all know my opinions now, so I'll just say what I rate the show. Since, yeah, personally, I think The Owl House, it's really hard to find flaws in it, so I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. To me, it's a perfect show. If you don't agree with me, that's fine. But yeah, to me, it is 100% perfect. So yeah, so, yeah, that's my thoughts. And it's kind of sad how this is like the end of the story-driven shows for Disney, which is kind of sad. But yeah, right now we're getting a bunch of episodic shows, which I still enjoy, but I just personally like story-driven ones more. I really hope we get new, like, story-driven shows with likable characters and all that. And, yeah, but otherwise, I loved this show. I loved basically almost all of these story-driven shows, and I'm really gonna miss them. But, yeah, that's all I really have to talk about, and I'd love to hear all your thoughts. So, what do you think about The Owl House? Uh, I think it's perfect, as you all know by now. And, yeah, so... Yeah, I guess I'll see you all next time for whatever I'm going to talk about. Or maybe uh, an animated video I'm working on. Yeah, I've been working on a couple of those if you've seen the community poll. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy them. And yeah, I will see you all next time for probably that animated video. So yeah, see you guys and bye.